What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about block rating. Based on the thumbnail, I'm not saying that block is useless or whatever, I'm just saying that right now, block rating is in the place where a lot of players misunderstand what it actually does. Yeah, most of us know that it helps with blocks, but there's a lot more details about it that we need to know. So in this one here, I'll break everything down on how it actually works, and at the end, I'll give my opinion about it. And by the way, if you watch these couple of videos, I still advise to watch this one here because there are new stuff on this one. And on the next video, I'll try to compare 2K25 to 2K24 so we can have a better picture on what's really happening. So after watching these, you can check the channel out, maybe it's already up. So let's get right into it. So now for the first one, let's talk about blocks in terms of perimeter defense. Based on my test, block rating only concerns your ability to block the ball. Yeah, if you have high block rating, your animations will be more aggressive and there will be sometimes that you look like you smother the shooter. But the thing about it is, if you miss the block, then you have low perimeter defense, your coverage will still be weak. And here you can see, that's a nice contest animation, right? But since you have low perimeter defense, the feedback will still stay open. But if you have high perimeter defense and you did pretty much the same challenge animation, now it will be flagged tight. Now, in terms of interior defense, it has pretty much the same mechanic. If you have high block rating and low interior defense, of course you'll have higher chance of blocking the ball, but if you miss the block, the actual coverage will be weak. And the coverage is really important because that's one of the major factors if the shot will go in. And if you have low block but high interior defense, yes you will have high coverage, but the chance of you blocking the ball will be really low. I know block and interior defense come together on the builder, like you can't have minimum interior defense with high block. I was just trying to isolate each rating so we can actually know what's their only function. Now the question is, aside from the functions that were mentioned, what is the other use of blocks? Before we go right into it, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far, and it would be really awesome if you guys can binge watch the channel. Trust me, if you want to know how the game really works in a detailed way, that's your place. And of course subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. Now going back, what is the other big use of block? And that is your chase down blocks. I know most of you know it already, but I think not much players know the actual impact. So for this test, I'll be having 4 players. First one will have all block interior defense and vert at 25. Player 2 will have block at 99 and the rest will be 25. Third player will have 99 interior defense and the rest will be 25. And the fourth player will have 99 vert and the rest will be 25. The goal here is to see which has the best impact and how big is the margin. First one, I tried a player with 25 for everything and I wasn't able to block the ball even once, which we all expect. Now for the second one, 99 on blocks but everything else will be 25 and now the game is giving me better chase down animations. On the third player, 99 interior defense and the rest will be 25. In here, I wasn't able to make even a single block. And you can see the animations are all lousy. And on the fourth player, 99 vert and the rest are 25. And same thing as the last one, not one block was made. And I got lousy animations. So based on this test, of all those three stats, interior defense, vert and block, block has the most impact. And the fact that player 2 is the only one that was able to block the ball, it means the margin is really big. I'm not saying that vert won't affect your blocks, I'm just saying that in terms of margin of impact, block rating is the majority driver on your chase down blocks. And of course your high flying denier badge as well. So basically, block rating is just all about blocking the ball, not the actual coverage. Only double down on blocks if you think your build is long, fast and athletic enough to actually block the ball. And if your playstyle is meant for blocking. If you're just trying to bother the shooter or dunker, like you know Draymond Green style of defender, you don't need it that much. So try not to expect that if you get a wild blocking animation and sometimes you can even smother the shooter, it doesn't automatically mean that if you miss the block, you can be bailed out by a good coverage percentage so the shot will be a miss. <laughs> no, coverage feedback will be based on perimeter and interior defense ratings. Now, what do I think about this mechanic? For me personally, I think it's good. Because in this way, players cannot get away with having low perimeter defense and low interior defense ratings. I think that's the idea behind it. It just happened that not lots of players know this, that's why there's a bit of chaos at the moment. But again, that's just my opinion, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this mechanic, or any other feedback. 
So that's all for this one. Again, would be really awesome if you guys can binge watch the channel. And I'll be comparing 2K25 and 2K24 in terms of contest on one of the next videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.